Hey, what is going on guys? Daniel from ModBot here, and in this video we are going to be doing our first test print on the TiVo Tarantula 2017. When I started building this printer, I had the Titan extruder on it, but after doing a little test cube and seeing how badly it was under extruding, I switched over to the other metal extruder that was included. I also had to install this Marlin Tarantula firmware that I'll link you guys down in the description to because I couldn't find the stock TiVo firmware. My extruder motor was printing backwards, so I had to go into the settings and swap out the direction of the extruder motor and then reflash the board which I just did using the Arduino software. Now I don't know whether this firmware was completely stock pretty much other than that so that could have had an effect on the print but that is what I had to do because there was no other way um, with the plug on the TiVo tarantula you can't just flip flop it you have to actually do it in the software settings at least on this board. So. I decided to print out this pencil pot monster because I figured, hey, I can actually use this. My desk is really unorganized and I can throw all my usual 3D printing tools inside of here. So I dragged it over to Repetit Your Host, used the settings that I had predefined, which was 20% infill with, I believe, just 0.3 layer height. I didn't want to do any thinner uh, because it was already going to be like a four hour print. So I figured, ah, whatever, we'll just do. 0.3 layer height, and I think the temperatures I did were 45 degree bed temperature and 200 degree hot end temperature, and then we were off. So the model, <laughs> I thought that I had enough plastic on the spool, which I did not, so I had to actually swap it out once it got to the eye level with some green, which I don't usually do filament swapping, um, but it looks pretty cool. I'm actually really happy. I might start doing that more on certain prints if I can find ways to incorporate using dual color. I've never cared too much about that, but it's kind of cool having dual colors. I see kind of now why people like it. It definitely makes your prints pop. Um, one thing I noticed with this machine is that the left side of the x-axis sags significantly more than the right side due to the fact that the right side has a lead screw while the left side doesn't. So I had to level the bed pretty offset to incorporate for that slant, which seemed to be fine. The bed, once I leveled it, I haven't had any issues with sticking. It actually sticks really well to this build tech surface, um, impressively well, so that's not an issue. but. It's something that I noticed and threw me off for a little bit because it's quite a heavy slant. So here's the end model. Um, it seems like the printer is definitely still under extruding a lot less than with the other Titan extruder, um, but I will have to go into the settings and calibrate um, and see that it is actually printing the correct amount that it's supposed to be printing and maybe mess with these steps on the extruder motor. And then after that, I'll go from there, but that's my first step. So we'll do that. And then I'll do some more little fine tuning and tweaking. Cause again, this was just assembled, leveled and hit print. Um, and it did screw with the firmware, which could have had an effect on this print overall, but not a terrible print. It is really solid, but again, it is under extruding. It seems as you can see, so I will do that. And then obviously by the time the reviews here, that will all be dialed in. And I'll tell you guys what exactly I had to do to get the print quality looking better. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This has been the first test print of the TiVo Tarantula 2017. As always, thank you for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace guys.